updates. See how the current screening committees in Edo State notice and disqualify Obaseki for certificate issues. Arrest everyone that supported and screened Obaseki now. It is very funny how politics is being played in the hands of politicians. They never cease to surprise and amaze the Nigeria citizens. One other factor, eating deep into Nigerian policies, politics and democracy is Godfatherism. Godfathers have totally exchanged the people's voice with theirs. An example of what I have been describing is the recent occurrence in every state where the incumbent governor was screened out to cert for certificate issues. It is very normal to help one get to a position and that does not mean that the beneficiary turns remote while the helpers make themselves godfathers and remote controllers and the political officers lose his voice to initiate. Obas Seki is a grown man who Oshomole said he believed him and nothing more. What suddenly happened between the two, the both of them and advice is different from controlling. It is wrong to play an adult around and make him a surrogate while the godfather are the real and underground governor after his own eight years tenure. In fact, Oshomole is the grand teacher of end godfatherism in Edo State. What suddenly happened that he does not want to be saved his own dues? The party is not the people. In a real democracy, you should leave the people to decide for themselves and not impose on them. It is obvious that the camp of the national chairman of APC have their own candidate against the governor. Then it is expected that this camp rally and bleed the people to vote their candidates rather than disqualifying incumbent to pave ways. If truly that Obaseki have a certificate issue, Oshomole should be able to defend him now like he defended him in 2016 governorship election unless the governor just got a certificate after his election. Surprising, how did this current APC screening Committee in Edo State notice and disqualify Obaseki for certificates issue that the 2016 screening committee did not notice it. How? There is a new to arrest and question the 2016 screening committee now. Thank you, viewers, for listening to this news. I think this writer is right. How did it happen? How can, how come that the current APC, the current APC screening committee in Edo State noticed Obaseki's certificate, noticed that he, the certificate is forged. They disqualify Obaseki because of the certificate issues that the 2026 screening committee did not notice there in 2016. I'm very much sure that the person that hid this certificate from the committee then in 2016 is Oshomole. Oshomole um, supported Obaseki then in 2016.
supported him so much despite he has a forged certificate he bribed the screening committee and they overlooked the certificate and made him the governor and made him win the governor they did not screen him out because Oshomole is involved but because Oshomole is Oshomole and Obaseki are not are no longer in good terms this is why this certificate became obvious do you know that Obaseki is not a wise person is not a wise person he is dense sorry to say that if he is wise he would have not um, allowed the rift to get to this extent he would have since he knew that he is coming out for the second term he would have apologized and made sure that the crisis between both of them is resolved then after this he can now be covered covered up by Shomole again as Shomole did in 2016 but Obaseki is not wise enough that is why his certificate is being exposed by the recent screening committee in 2020 that is it that is why he said he's not Obaseki is not a wise person he's not a wise governor he would have made peace with Oshomole. After this election, then, the beef can continue. In June and July 2016, Chief Oyegun was the APC chairman. Why not direct all these questions to him? How did he cleared an aspirant called Obaseki with only affidavits indicating loss of credentials, primary school certificate, university, and NYC. Ask Oyegun for this. Questions should be thrown back at Oyegun. Oyegun should talk and should say the truth. Is not a politician that is that is why he can't talk. That is why he's not he can't say he can't defend himself. He should try and come out and defend himself. He truly he was bribed to cover up for Baseki by Oshomole or not. Let's know that now. Let's know this now. Do you know that APC is so confused? PC is a confusion to face Nigerians and the Shumole. We surely will see God's punitive judgment. If truly he bribed Oyegun and the uh, screening committees, then in 2016, even if both of them have has or has um crisis or has grifts. Oshomole shouldn't have behaved like a child to expose Obaseki the way he did to the extent that APC is not giving Obaseki the governorship ticket. The governorship ticket is totally taken away from Obaseki. Because if he's given the ticket, sorry. He would definitely contest with the fake result in September. Or should I say in June, July. So, I think they should make inquiry. They should investigate this. They should investigate to know if truly is a forged certificate or not. And do you know that I'm very much sure that it's a forged one because... After the allegation was made four days ago, do you know that Obaseki has never has not come out to defend himself? 
to tell the to tell the world to tell the to tell Edo State Edo State people that what Oshomole says or what the screening committees said about or says about his forged certificate, it's not real. He should have given evidence, but it means it is real. This is why he has not come out on social media to defend him himself. So, viewers, what is your own take on this? This is all about the advice and the comments I have to give to Obaseki and Oshomole, even Oyegun. So, your comments is very much needed. Drop your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive updates whenever I publish new videos. Thank you and God bless you.